Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and we're getting to the end of the year and that means we're getting close to New Year's resolution time. And whether you're into that or not, a lot of us around this time of year start thinking about the last year, what we did, what we're happy about, what we're not happy with, and what we want to do in the future. And one of the things that helps me do that is having data on myself to know exactly how I'm doing and what I actually need to do better at. And so I do this thing called the quantified life, uh, which is kind of a weird name, but gets it across pretty well. And basically what this means for me is that every day I have this task in my to-do list that says report. And so I will go into whatever app I'm using to track my stuff and I'll just do a quick questionnaire on what I did today, what, um, I'll show you in a second exactly what the questions are, but I use Airtable to do this and I am able to track everything that I do during the year that I'm interested in. And then at the end of the year, I get a CSV basically that I can use to create charts, to, to analyze the data, to do whatever I want. And so today I wanted to show you kind of what my setup is, how I'm using Airtable to do this, and then what you can do to create something similar if this is interesting at all to you. So let's take a look. So first things first, you have to set up an Airtable account and you can set up a free account. That's actually what I'm using right now. And what you want to do is add a base. And so before we do that, I'm gonna show you what I have. So I have my 2020 personal tracking here. And if I click into this, you're gonna see what looks like a spreadsheet basically. And so I have dates here, I have the day of the year and then the things that I'm tracking. And so we can go over and see some of the stuff. And so these are the things that I'm interested in tracking for myself, right? So I'm tracking every day, I'm recording a new row here and I'm recording day of the year. This is actually a holdover from my old system where I actually uh, needed this to sort things correctly. Uh, I don't need this anymore, but I'm still tracking it uh, just because, um, but I'm tracking how much money I'm spending on fun stuff, right? So when am I spending money that I really don't need to spend? And so I can go back and see each day and how much um, I'm tracking what movies I'm watching. This is much more interesting in most other years since not many movies are coming out right now and then what games I played what books I read uh, these are some of the things that I'm tracking and want to keep track of and so it's just a spreadsheet and I can add a new row at any point um, on the web I need to go all the way to the bottom and hit plus and then I can add um, and it's going to take me through all these things uh, I'm going to actually let's see delete that one right now but there's easier ways to do it and so one way is you can create a new view. And so I have this form view uh, that's 2020 personal tracking, and that looks like this, and it looks like more like a web form. And so this is really great because I can share this link. And then when someone goes to it, specifically me, uh, I'm able to just fill out the form and fill out what I did today. And so that's convenient from any device in the world, I can fill this out. And so that's really nice. You can see even like the date field is a date picker the day of the year is a number, so I can't key in letters or anything. I have to actually do a number, um, and that's kind of all the way down the line. And so things with like games, I can select from a list of whichever one I want. Uh, if I wanna do, uh, let's see, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, and I can select it, and I can select multiples. So. That's really nice. I don't actually use this that often. I thought I would, but uh, I actually usually just do it from my iPhone. And so here's what that looks like. I load up the app and I can see 2020 personal tracking, all the same data is here, and then I can hit the plus icon to fill things out, right? So I enter the date, the day of the year, uh, three, I actually lost track of what it is, but yeah, I've got uh, all the things here, all of the um, games and stuff come over. I played quite a few games this year, um, but yeah, all of that's here. And then I can just save it when I'm done and it goes at the top of the list. So. That's where it's easiest to do it. Let me show you how to make this now. So if we go back to the main Airtable page, I can add a base. And so I can start with a template or start from scratch. And I'm actually gonna start from scratch. Uh, so we're gonna call this a test one. I'm gonna make it bright pink. Uh, we'll do a beaker for it being a test. And then there we go. So now that it's created, I can just click into it and I'd have a basic database right here. Um, and so I'm actually going to uh, edit this. I'm going to delete all these additional fields and then there we go. And so this first one, I want to change. You can't actually delete the first one. I want to customize the field type. So I'm going to call it a uh, date. And then what type of data am I holding here? I want it to be a date. And then I can choose the format. I'm going to do the ISO format cause that's nice uh, to use for CSVs and stuff. So save it. 
There we go, so that's the date. I can add a new one. Um, let's say the next one I wanna do is I wanna track, uh, did I exercise today, right? And so that's just a yes or no. So I'll do a checkbox of um, exercise, right? And so then on each day, I will just say yes or no. So let me delete these records here since those aren't necessary. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, let's see, what, else, what other things can I add here? Um, I could do an attachment, so like I could put receipts here if I wanted to uh, by uploading like PDFs. Uh, let's do another one like fun money, right? Fun money, there we go. And so that's a dollar amount. So now when I enter a new one, I can do the date, that I exercise, yes, and fun money, I did uh, 425. And so that turns it into $4.25. And you see even down here, it'll add things up. So if I add another one for say tomorrow, I can say, no, I didn't exercise and I spent $25 on fun stuff. So that totals it up here at the bottom so I can always see a total. And then I can uh, actually sort these. So you saw my other one, I had the newest ones on top. You can take any of these and then you can sort the whole thing. Um, let's see, I'll do that. And so that's gonna sort them the whole table by this column. Now, if I wanted to create that form that I had on the other one, what I can do is go down here to create view. And so grid is the default, and that's basically all this is. It's just a database uh, with rows and columns, but I can make a form, I can make a calendar, I can make a gallery. So there's a lot here that uh, you can do with Airtable that's outside the scope of this video, but I'm gonna make a form, right? So I'm gonna click plus. And so it automatically does everything, right? So all the things are here, uh, I can, uh, move these around. I can drag around the different fields if I want to order them in a different way. Uh, if I don't want fun money in here, I can take it out. So I can just do the date and did I exercise or not. So you have some control there uh, to make it how you want. I can make it required, uh, exercise. Oops, let me make that required as well. And so that's it. I can add some help text. There's a lot of stuff here that you can do, um, but basically you can, once it's done, you can redirect. Uh, I think this is uh, pro feature <laughs> redirect to the URL, but you can say, uh, thank you for submitting your form or change the text to something else. Uh, you can let them submit again. You can do a new blank form if they just sit there for a few minutes or a few seconds, I should say, or they could email you, uh, whenever someone submits this. So if you're sending this out to the public, you can get an email whenever somebody, uh, fills out the form. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I open the form in a new tab, then it's gonna be just like what we saw there. So you can do it from the web. But like I said, I'd recommend doing it from iOS or Android. It's a little easier there. But yeah, once you're done, once you've done this all year, and so I have nearly a year's worth of data here, you can either look at it in Airtable and see how it works, or what you can do is go here, download CSV, and now I have a CSV of this data. And so here it is in numbers on the Mac and I can see all the data here. It's exactly the same. And then I can format it how I'd like. So I can do my own charts and everything in here. Uh, it's a little manual. It's very manual, I should say, but you have total control since it's just a standard CSV and you can do whatever magic you want with it. So that's what I do. I use it to just track like, did I, uh, eat more, drink more, exercise more, uh, walk the dog more, like that sort of thing compared to the previous year. And then I can see big trends over the course of the year happening. So that's how I do it in Airtable. There's plenty of other ways you can do it, but that's how I get it done and works very well for me. Thank you so much for watching.